Hey guys, my Jazzy Mac here. I was still, I'm still planning to make part three of my reaction video to the episode "Scared Tripless" from, from, the new show Game Shakers. But I think I would like to share some, share a little bit of spare time, a little bit of spare time with some of my, with some of my, some of my voice, voice act, voice acting without, without using the microphone, just raw. Just raw, eye to eye vid video making, voice act, voice acting. I was just, and I, I don't know if it's gonna be possible, but th this could be either an audition video or, or just a plain video that I, that I just make every day, just for the heck, of, just for the heck of it. I, uh, I, if this was actually an audition video, I would pro, I would probably use this for for an audition for My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and the Equestria Girl series because because ever since 2013 I, ever since 2013 I started get, getting a glimpse of pink of Pinkie Pie because it, and the first time that I, the first time that I've heard that I've heard about her I just I decided to uh, the first time that I've heard about her, I decided to check out some scenes, check out some scenes from some of the series that had that feature Pinkie Pie in it. And boy, that was so, and boy, that was pretty cool. That was actually that was actually pretty cool, pretty cool. Man, L listen, w if I actually make it into the into the franchise of my look. Of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. There's only one thing. There's only one thing. I'm de I'm destined to have my very own character. You may know. You may know him. Jukebox James, Sp Liberty Spikes, Bl Liberty S Black Liberty Spikes, White White and Blue Tail, Heart Heart Shape with Musical Notes Cutie Mark, The White Watch, The White Watch. That's him. That's him. Oh, let's not forget the brown eyes. The idea behind Okay, before I start before I start this voice acting thing, I want to show you I want to show you uh, actually I want to tell you the the thing behind my char my character Ju Jukebox James, aka Double J or JJ for short. Or JJ for short. You see Ever since I start, <clears throat> sorry guys. Ever since I started watching the Equestria Girls and Ra and Rainbow Rocks and some of the episodes from Friendship is Magic, I decided to I decided to make make a character of my own. At first I try, at first I tried out for green for a green look with the with the Liberty Spikes. That was the very uh, that was my very first guess. That was my very first thought. With the with a musical note cutie mark with a with a musical note cutie mark, but after seeing after seeing that various 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 and various times, uh, I decided I decided to go with a new one, go with a new one. So my uh, official cutie mark is a heart with musical notes in it, the, in the colors blue, black, and white. Which ha which happens to be right now my and the and my character's favorite colors. Well, mo well mostly my character's favorite colors are blue and white, are blue and white. My 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 third one was black. Okay, now now Double J had has a baby sister and. Uh, big brother. His brother's name is Emerald Storm, and his baby sister is Alexis Star. She, both we, the character and the siblings were both were both born in the mir in the mirror world where Twi Twilight and the Equestria Girls battle the dazzling and. Evil Sunset Shimmer before she's she was reformed, before she was reformed, 
and uh, the and when he was quite young, he did he was he didn't have have any have any friends at all. Only his family members were the were the only things that he that he loved. Some sometimes on family vacations, he try he goes off on his own to to find some new friends. And on that and on that note, without without warning, without warning, he's been learning some vi some various supernatural abilities. Supernatural abilities. Now uh, this may be now this may be out of the blue, but all of the supernatural abilities that he that he can harness right now that he can harness before he came to Ponyville are spider are spider powers from Spider Man, aka Peter Parker, Pixie Dust Flight from Tinkerbell, from his visit from his visit to um. No, no, oh well, it could be, it could be Pixie Hollow or something like that, and super, and super speed from the flat, from the Flash, and he only got, and before he learned some heal, some healing magic from Twilight Sparkle, voiced by Tara Strong, Tara Strong, which is a really good voice actor, I gotta say. Anyway, before he learned the second part of his healing magic, the second part of his healing magic. From Twilight, he got his first source of healing magic from Marvel's Wolverine. From X from X-Man Wolverine. Which happens to be one of my fav one of my favorite Marvel superheroes. It stands at the number two it stands at the number two rank. But Spider-Man is my number one. Now, now at the age at the age of fifteen. He's been, he's been going out in his back, he's been going out in the family's backyard, practicing on his net, on his supernatural abilities, and supernatural abilities until until then. His mother deci decided to let him let him try school. Oh, go to school for a while. Oh, wait, 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 hold, hold on. Way be way before he went to Canterlot High School for the very first time, he was homeschooled. Jukebox James was homeschooled. From the first time that, it, from the first time he went to kindergarten, he was teased and pushed around. He was teased and pushed around just because he had some supernatural abilities from, ver from various heroes and various people. And anyway, and now his mother would like would like to take the chance and have James return him to school. And at the age of 16, he started wor working as a full-time janitor, earning 20, earning 20, 20 dollars an hour, 20 dollars an hour. If you could, do, if you could do the math, you could find. Okay, five days a week, 20 dollars an hour. 20 or 90 dollars an hour. That would, that would be okay. That would be okay. 90 dollars an hour. If you guys could do the math, you can find you can find out how much he makes in a month or a year. Anyway, anyway, due due to his fa his father's behavior, if this this is a, this is for kids. I don't want to actually say I don't want to actually say what his father was doing, what his father was doing. So guys, keep. So guys, I'm gonna keep it clean. I'm gonna keep it clean. This is for kids. This, this is for kids and adults. I'm gonna keep it clean. Okay. Due to due to James's dad's behavior, he decide he decided to move out. So upset that his dad that James that James realized that dad took. Most of his er most of his earnings plus <laughs> sorry about that that was that was just some notification or something but anyway but anyway James was so upset at his dad that he's been taking off taking most of his earnings plus the allowance he's been he's been giving to his mother for some extra work around the house 
for some extra work around the house, and he decided to move out. The mother, his brother, his brother and sister were all were all sad and scared of what is he going to what's he going to do now? The mother of the family actually was pretty upset at the at the at him. The mo oh I forgot the mother's and father's name. The mother was Caitlin Natasha and the father was Travis Jewell. Okay. Now, move Now, moving on. Okay. I'm going to Okay, uh I think I'm going to keep it short here. He stuck he stumbled into the to the portal where he stumbled to the portal where uh where Ponyville where Ponyville is bumped into tri bumped into Trixie and then and then Trixie cursed him but for being the clumsiest cult in all of Equestria until until Rainbow Dash real realized that he that it was that it wasn't James who was being clumsy on purpose. So Twi so Twilight and the other elements of Harmony with with James at, at their side fight Trixie off to lift the curse. And J and James let me tell you let me tell you something about the about the guy. James can be a James can get a little overboard with his anger and tends to threat and tends to threaten some pon some ponies. But but through the help, through the help of Twilight, Fluttershy, and and Pinkie Pie, of course, and Pinkie Pie, they, he all he always calms down. He always calms down. He does tend to get a little crazy. Like I like I said, he get he gets crazy and a little overboard with his anger. But mo but mostly he's fun, energetic. Fun, energe energetic, kind, loving, sometimes impatient, impatient, a hot-tempered, but never vengeful. Never vengeful. Okay, okay. Once that once that was done. Once that was done. Trixie, a scared Trixie lifts up the curse, but. A scared tr no, 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 never mind that. Never mind that. Trixie, ap after seeing that James is not all that bad, lifts the curse. Lifts the curse. And, and then, so, he, ap when Princess Cele Celestia came onto the scene, where the battle was finished, Trixie reform. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Was Trixie reformed in one of the episodes? Of uh, leave leave your answer in the comments below to see if, if I'm wrong or right. The question is this: Is Trix, or should I say, was Trixie reformed in one of the episodes? Okay. All right. Now moving on. The reason why never never mind that. The reason why Trixie got into it Okay, okay. I rather I rather tell you anyway. The reason why Tr Trixie got so got so, ups, so upset at James and decided and went back to her old roots, it's because James bump, bumped him while she was do while she was doing a, ma a magic spell that she has never done before, and has been working very, very, and I mean very hard on it. Now, uh, now, now, on to four, on to, to all right, moving on. When Princess Celestia came onto the scene when the battle was done, James asked her if he could stick, if he could live in po live in Ponyville for for the rest of his life for the rest of his life and on that note princess celestia and twilight sparkle approved it but the one but the one thing that didn't 
that they didn't know is he was homeless. Very well, very wealthy though, but he was homeless. He doesn't have no food. He doesn't have, have no home. He used, he mostly sleeps under a tree at night on cold, dark nights, to be exact. To be exact. <sighs> he tend he tends to stay o stay over at some of the some of the elements' houses for a little for a little sleepover. Until one until one night he uh, until one night he told while he was helping helping Pinkie Pie full sit full sit he told the cakes and and her that he was homeless and he hasn't that he had no home to live in. I'm gonna say I'm gonna save the rest of the story until another until another time. But here. Here are some of the voice act voice acting parts that I would love that I would love to be a part of or some or some or something. I hope you got I hope you guys like it. Okay, I just gotta just gotta think of some. Give me a give me a second here. Uh, Twilight, what is going on over there? Ah. Fluttershy, don't be so scared. I'm right here. Just take my hoof, and everything will be fine. Spike, please. Uh, AJ, I don't think that's a good idea. Whoa! <laughs> What's the flying there, Dashie? You almost hit me in the head. Oh, very sophisticated, Rarity. Truly love it. You're definitely gonna make it on the Manhattan magazine for sure. Well, look, well, look who's coming to the party right now. How you doing, Pinks? Oh, just a reminder. Just a reminder. James picks up some cool nick, some nicknames for the, for the, for some of the characters. For some of the characters. At first, when he, at first, when he mentions some of the nicknames, they, the elements kind of get confused. Kind of get confused. But, James, James de defined them for, for a little bit. James call, sometimes, sometimes calls Twilight, uh, Sparkles or Sparkalina. That, that's, was that was my idea for the nicknames for Pinky for Pinkie Pie, the Pinks or Pinkerino. For Rarity, Rare Bear, uh, they already they already got Dashie in the, Dashie in one of the epi in one of the episodes. I think it was I think it was season five or four. Ah, whatever season it was, they used that nickname for Flu for Fluttershy. Flutters. For Fluttershy, Flutters. And for Derpy Hooves, he usually call, calls her Derps. D-E-R-P-S. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, my bad. D-E-R-P-Z. Derps. So, on with the voice acting. Okay. Okay, let's... Let's let's see. Um, no, no, no. Hmm. Twilight, what do you make of this? Wait, is that the is that the tree of harmony that? W isn't that where the tree of harmony used to be? Holy moly, spicy ravioli! I don't want I don't want to surprise you or anything. I don't want to surprise you or anything. It's just that it just get Okay. I'm just I'm just so energetic. I don't want to surprise you guys. It's it's just that I'm always energetic. That that's how I got the idea for That's another thing how I got how I got the idea for my for my character. 
I'm... I'm trying to combine his personality with mine. Combine his personality with my personality. And another, and another thing, what the elements also didn't... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't the elements of Harmony. They already knew how sensitive... They already knew how sensitive I was. Or should I say the character. My bad. That was James, who was highly sensitive. That was Jukebox James, who was highly sensitive. The elements already knew that Jukebox James is highly sensitive. But, Sunset Shimmer and the Equestria Girls don't know that. They don't know that. So, sorry for making this video a little too long because I had... Because I shared the story of behind Jukebox James and some of the voice acting stuff. I was just I was just dreaming of being part of the part of the series, My Little Pony, Friends of His Magic. I truly love the show. If you like if you'd like to leave a comment, feel feel free to leave it and feel free to leave it below. This is my Jazzy Max saying, peace out and friendship is magic.